guys, welcome to Star Ruler 2. We're back with more of the multiplayer. I don't have any of my videos up yet, so I, I, I converted the one last night. I, I convert it, and then I upload it, because it becomes a smaller file size and faster upload. Oh, I see. Yep, yep, yep. Now then, to continue my expansion, <laughs> if I can. How much in debt are you? <laughs> uh, I'm down to 1.3 million. Oh, that's not too bad. <laughs> yes! It's returning to normal. So what? Well, my hotkeys aren't set up. Okay, that blows. Oh my god, this is one of those things that it's gonna be a while for me to get through. Colonizing to get out of debt. I'm getting, I gained a few more to unperish stuff. And that's three, and then that's one, two, three, four, five. So. Like I'm venturing into your galaxy. Yep, you'll you, you'll end up in one of my systems. It's one of the most recent ones I was able to get to help work me out of debt. I definitely want to take over this one. Yeah, I'm just waiting for you to venture over into my area. You got two scouts waiting there. Yeah, I'm just doing uh, planetary stuff. Yeah, you have more plans than me right now. I'll catch up. Because as soon as I get that native gold, that will definitely help me with my debt. Come on, native gold! But, let's see, how much... Yeah, yeah. As long as I can calm down on my debt issue, I can get this going well. <laughs> okay, and then I want to spread into the center area, take over that, take, well, not the center one specifically, but one that's connected directly to me, but not to you. This is going to be a tough one. You're probably going to take over the center. Because <laughs> you're, you're directly linked to it. We will see. Oh, you're heading to another one of my systems already. And one I plan to colonize. Because I already have a water mining base on it. Well, I'm just exploring for now. Now... I'll expand uh, organically. I'm not gonna jump to systems I can't trade with before. Hmm. You know. Well, that's up to you, personally. You know what I mean. Everyone has their own style of play. Now, 
Now, should I take over a titanium or a deuterium? But I can always take the deuterium later and send it over. So what I'm going to do is send that to As soon as it runs out of colony ships, then I switch to a different planet and then have that colonize it. <laughs> and that way, I'll definitely colonize one planet. And I'm using all my level ones, which don't actually have a proper colonizing method going right now. One thing about uh, exploring your systems is they don't have to worry too much about uh, debris fields. Mm -hmm. Because I'm going to be getting to them one point or another either way. Oh no, they just won't Likely. exist. <laughs> Likely. <laughs> yep. Oh, a slipstream generator. Oh, yeah. Must be your home. It's on my home world. Congratulations. Congratulations. throws of pain as I'm trying to rework my entire way of living. It's going to take a while for them to gain there. And even when they get there, there should be not much trouble because there's nothing in their path that will destroy them. Yep. That's what I like about my where I'm colonizing in another galaxy already. Because there is no path there that is hit with a pirate's maze, uh, pirate fleeting away. Oh. Down to 1.4 million dead again. Hmm. But right now, that's because I got colony ships going into another galaxy. Once I'm over there, I'm able to start a factory there and have other base. The center I'll never be able to take unless I get a direct link between here and there. with one thing that I have directly connected to me, I'm already getting into. And from there, I already have a connection to the other end. So I have a connection to all three, or will have a connection to three. Not the center, but the other two. <laughs> Something you do not have. Well, it's a slow but steady colonization of the uh, water. My god, this is going to be one of those games that's going to be really up there in your uh, ways of, oh god, this is going to be a tough one. I 
is a slow but steady rate from my home system, thanks to the uh, speed boost from the Pelco and all that fun shit. Can't make anything, but I can just let it sit and it will build up and I'll eventually be able to get out that. Ooh, it's going back to around 1.3 million. It's, it's fluctuating between 1.3 and 1.4 million. Oh, I'm at 1.2 positive. Just thought I'd rub that in. <laughs> Very funny. Trying to rub that in. Oh, in the place where I'm going to be colonizing, I found a few obelisks. So that's some energy. Free energy. Obelisks. Uh, yeah, ob obelisks. They can. Uh, they they end up in a system where every all the planets are morphic, as well as all the asteroids. Hmm. So what I do is I take two of the obelisks and turn them into 100 energy each, and the third one, I always make it morph the actual resources on the planet. Hmm. Because when the planet morphs, they get rid of the other obelisks. And then you can get a bunch of nice stuff out of it. So, so it's really nice. And then I have some space debris in another area. Oh, exploring there where I plan to uh, colonize. All those cis, all those plants will be colonized. You got the iron being transported back home. Haha. -ha. Ta ta for now. CTFN. Oh, well, the colony ships have arrived, or are starting to. Create design. Okay. Um, yep, yep, yep. I think I'll create that so I can get some energy. Neutronium, deuterium, deuterium, iron, aluminum, <laughs> chemicals, all the other aluminum, gems, iron, phasite, iron, helical, explosives, natural gas. I have everything within the new within the new area. I, I, that's what I have when I colonize that other area. Hmm. The titanium. I will have the, the ultimate time. Okay, that that water will be soon finished, and then it's going to be what was it? This. But first, it's going to probably do the meat there, and so on. And then from there, I'll be able to touch. Oh, there's a debris field there that I missed. Did you take that debris field on on Mess Trusto? Please refrain from doing things like that. Why? You might. You took a bunch of them on me the last game we played. Yeah, true. You started it. True, true, but you should be careful about what you try. Remember, I can build up fast when I have the ability. Just not yet. Yeah, but once I have the ability to build, I will build insanely quick because I'm already getting a lot of the research done that I've done. Oh yeah, well we'll be connected to this one because I know I'm colonizing this. Ooh, another debris field over this way. And so... Good. Thank you. 
this is becoming one of those ones where, ha uh ha, -huh. six, seven, seven, five, eight, eight, five, nine, nine, five. I need literally one more colony ship to there. Whereas one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's five. Okay. I need two there. Five there. Okay, so Okay, let's see. I'm just right now trying to get over into that next galaxy once I'm in there. <laughs> now then, let's morph the planetary resources. Let's see, what do I have there? Oh, heavy water! Add three random pressure over time, the type of pressure changes every three minutes. That is beautiful. And then it has two waters. With a water and a water asteroid. Th that, that's the kind of stuff you really want, because the heavy water, it's, it's free combined water. You don't have to keep continuously putting water together to get it. Okay, so let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So that's 60. Let's get, let's let them get over there. <laughs> oh yeah, I got degenerate uh, matter and antimatter. Antimatter produces energy. That's a tier 3 one. What does that do? Ooh, adds 2048 support capacity to the consuming planet or orbital. Support ships operate at 400% of normal effectiveness. That is great for any kind of wonder planet. Antimatter. Bitch, you don't mess with that.
my god, four space debris in one system in this other galaxy I found with a neutronium planet, a natural mm -hmm. gas, and a water. Mm -hmm. With an influential knowledge, uh, theorist. Eh. And a comet. That's pretty dang good. If I say so myself. export and then you queue that export and then that will eventually be good. It takes a while to get over there but once I'm over there I'm gonna be able to colonize from within there. At a much different weight rate than my normal one because it's not viral. But with the way things are going they're proceeding quite smoothly. Getting labor insights, but that's increasing my la labor for my factory. Ooh, research. Just waiting for the ability to freaking finance this Ixion. I've already built half of it, which is all I can do. Oh, 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 oh God. Okay, where is it at? Where is it at? Where is it at? Oh, oh, no, no, no. Oh, oh, fuck. Okay, okay. What? No, not. No, no, out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, no, no. I lost the scout mark one. Damn you, kill Yaros. Just had to pop in, didn't you? You arsehole. Yeah, that's gonna suck. Yeah, it is. Quite, quite sucky. At least now I will be able to colonize what I wish for. Okay, okay. Now then, where is this at? Ella? Yeah. Okay, Ella, how about you come all the way over here? Come on, come on. Yes, good girl. Now, attempt to activate. Shit, another Remnant Kill Hero style. And there's a debris field right near it. God damn it. I'm not ever going to be able to get that debris field. <laughs> not at this rate. <laughs> Goddamn warships, they really want to screw me over today. I'm just trying to reduce my debt. Okay, the 
water's done there. Um, hopefully that will finish. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yep, that will finish it. I'll soon have the water and the meat ready for the titanium. And then all I need to do is make sure the titanium's finished, which is just going to be a patience game of waiting for the colony ships to get there. I've got a reactor core. So beautiful. Well, oh. oh, I'm going to soon have an FTL crystal, so that's going to be another second of regen when it's done. And a lot more cash, hopefully. That's producing cash. Good, 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 good. I'm now down to one million debt, roughly. How do you use unobtainium? Do you know how to? <laughs> we both don't know how to do that. All I'm doing is waiting for the stuff to finish. Once it's finished getting the titanium, I have a home system area done for it. I just can't build the factory until I'm out of debt. So, it'll just be a colonizing system and a level up. Um, let's see. After it's finished, all I would need is a food, so if I can find a salt or a grain, which is what I need, and then I can import the heavy water, because that would be great. And that's created from bonding to water. Hmm. It's you easy need that to for what? It, that, that helps build three random pressure over time, and the type of pressure changes else. So I'm going to put that on my second wonder planet. And once my home planet's done populating everything, God. Well, I'm down to 14 that I'm working on colonizing. One is going to be finished, and then the this FTL versus worked on. Ooh, research. What is it? Resistance tuning. Into. As long as I could get some kind of research going. I. Uh, yeah, I should get the Pelcom onto that home system over there. <laughs> uh. I can't find Axion anymore. God damn it. Once I can finance it again, I will feel great. First, I must get this crystal down. At six, five, seven, seven, five, eight, eight, five, nine, nine, five, one hundred. That's a ten out of ten there. That's going there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is already becoming a lot faster on the production. I'm down to 790k at roughly. Yes. I'm getting lower in debt.
1200 storage. Just getting these FDL crystals will give me, what, another 500 total. So that's 1700. And let's see, what kind of. Well, oh, I need about. To get to the edge of the other system, I need 3000 total storage to get to your the furthest away system you have. And then I can get anywhere from my home planet. <laughs> That's not too far off at this rate, because I just finished getting an FDL crystal. Which, wow, dropped my dead another like 100k. Last of the colony ships will be arriving at the titanium soon, making sure more bits out of the way. That's my plan right now, get out of debt. And then once I'm out of debt, I can start going further and further with my craziness. Ah hmm. oh, yeah, we should end this episode, it's already 30 minutes plus. Alrighty. Well guys, Hope you have fun with this. That's what I care about. <laughs> yeah, me too. Squarby signing off. And we'll see you next time. Bye.